Loud noises are funny. I know what you're thinking. This weekend has been pretty crazy in the anime world. Boruto finally has a Sasuke, Evangelion finally ended, and then there's Attack on Titan. And wait a minute. I recognize that smoke! But we're not gonna watch those wow. animes today. We're here for our daily dose of masochism. We're on episode 9 of X Arms. That's like what? We got three more weeks before it's over, and hopefully there's a season two? <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. There's not gonna be a season two. The anime pretty much adapts the entire manga. There's nothing left. Maybe if they really, really wanted to for some reason, they can adapt the sequel manga, but nobody cares about that. So yeah, this is X-Arms one shot. They shot their shot, and now they're in the timeline where they are considered the best worst anime of all time. So congrats. Anyways, today we'll be going over the production committee of X-Arms. Very briefly though, because I'm not being paid to be an investigational journalist, I did want to do research over that, but then I realized, why the fuck am I wasting my time doing this? So I decided to half-ass it. In the spirit of the anime, of course. As I said before, there are nine companies funding it. Well, I don't know if they're funding it, but there are nine companies involved in the production committee. Now, if you don't know what a production committee is, I can't tell you. <laughs> but I know stocks have gone really popular nowadays because of GameStop. So allow me to explain it in a way that you will understand. Because you follow memes, correct? So. A production committee is like a hedge fund. A bunch of rich people come together to throw money to get this anime made. And a lot of these companies tend to be like, you know, the typical companies that would probably fund an anime. So you have a magazine that published the original manga, or at least the parent company. Naturally, the anime acts as promotional material to get people to buy the manga or magazine. Then you have a record label that provides the opening and ending songs for the anime and they want their artists to blow up so they can sell their music. Then there's a bunch of companies I don't really know because I half-assed this and I'm probably talking out of my ass. Then we have Crunchyroll, an international distribution streaming site who paid a sizable amount of money to get an exclusive license to stream this anime on their platform in certain countries. And I say sizable because they probably pay to have their branding all over this anime, leading to an unfortunate misconception that Crunchyroll had their hands on creating this anime. When in reality, they just gave money and did the marketing. And I don't actively shit on Crunchyroll because even though they messed up here, they have been on the production committee for many animes in the past that people genuinely liked, especially season one of Yuru Camp. And because of that, I can't shit on Crunchyroll or I would be a hypocrite. And I usually am a hypocrite, but when it comes to Yuru Camp, I will never involve that anime in my hot takes, all right? Yuru Camp is sacred. Those girls just want to go camping. This was a Yuru Camp channel before Darling the Frax ruined it. Anyways, so yeah, Crunchyroll just made a bad investment. Didn't really do enough due diligence, and now they have to hold their paper bags like most people on Reddit investing in memes. Me included. But there is one other company that is more interesting than Crunchyroll. Royal Limousine which is exactly what you think it is. Now, when I first saw this on the credits, I was really confused and just thought that they were sponsors like Raid Shadow Legends. Ooh, that would have been a dope ass segue. Why can't I be popular enough so I can sell out? Come on, y'all, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment, because if you don't, I will spank you. And if you do like that, please click the subscribe button so that I can spank you. Please do it so that the algorithm can spread me like a virus. A Satomi virus. Anyways. Ooh. So what is Royal Limousine? We're gonna do, we'll just take a quick look at Royal Limousine. What is Royal Limousine? Those are definitely not limos. Um, they have a picture of a child boarding a taxi. This child is rich and going places. And we finally have the collaboration. And this picture is awful. First of all, there's no smoke. The site as a whole is very bare bones. I mean, yeah, okay, this is just typical standard stuff for a taxi service. You don't want to hire assholes. How much is it? 420? Ah, oh, I get it now. Uh, now that makes so much more sense. <laughs> Here's their first newsletter or blog. The Royal Limousine will collaborate with the science fiction anime X Arms set in 2030. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Are you gonna describe what X Arms is? I, I mean, Science fiction is a genre. Anime is the type of show it is. X-Arms is just the title. And set in 2030 is just like, oh, it's set in the future. Well, 2030 is nine years from now, so is that really science fiction? 
A pink crown appears casually in the scenery of the city in the work. Whoa, really? Wait, that car was pink? Wait, was it the episode that I skipped? I feel like I skipped that. <laughs> I feel so bad if I skipped it. I skipped their sponsored episode. Oh, what do you know? It is the Royal Limousine Cars. That's pretty cool. Also, we broadcast a commercial. This song is jamming though, but it's literally just clips from the show using dissolves. Yeah, lots of dissolves. Dude, this is like something you'd make out of movies Mindo Maker. All it needs is like the blue intro that says X Arms. <laughs> well, the biggest thing they're missing is the smoke. Obviously, we need the smoke to complete the look of the, the show. Yeah, these guys really like X Arms. I I don't know if the freaking owner and CEO was just a huge X Arms fan and was like really wanted this anime to succeed which now i feel really bad that this anime failed because this guy's dream was to make x arms a reality but even more even funnier is that the next form of promotional material they did for the anime was an itasha now itasha is just the car that has anime vinyls all over it it's like a waifu car but typically waifu cars will have like you know sports cars cars that are cool they're using a fucking toyota as a waifu car for fucking x arm the president hobby is high. Now, I don't know, do they mean the president in the show? Or do they mean the actual president of this company who really likes this anime? And I think if that's the if it was the actual president of the company, that would make a lot of sense why they're in behind the production committee of this show. He must be a fucking pervert. <laughs> Cause I've seen the manga pages. Like, there's nothing to that manga besides tits and cool sci-fi imagery. <laughs> so. They used the Toyota Corolla as an Itasha. And that is like the perfect car to describe this anime. Alma deserves so much better. But it is pink though, so I'll give it that. It is pink. But anyway, that was that was quite the adventure we had. Please follow me on Twitter, by the way. XArms does have an official Twitter account. We'll take a look at that later. We're not gonna shit on that too much because it's the Twitter account. They're not responsible for this show. In fact, they have to promote this show regardless of how terrible it may be. And I cannot imagine to do PR for something that you personally think is awful, but you need to make sure that people are hyped regardless. But as they said on their first tweet, just power on, then that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna power on to watch the next episode. Fallen Messiah. I'm hyped for how crazy this can be. Cat girls. Why do they fucking have lipstick? <laughs> These cat girls are robots. They're already sexualized enough. You gave them fucking lipstick. You didn't have to make them cat girls either. You could have just made them normal girls. Why the fuck are they? Why are you cat girls with big ass brains? Why is the moon is so big? The moon's about to come crashing down and kill us all. I'll tell you that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I know it's been a whole week, but I honestly don't remember anything that happened last week. It was like all blur. I was so upset, that's probably why. <laughs> Bingo made me so upset. I need you to kill me. <laughs> We're bouncing! <laughs> We're bouncing! <laughs> oh. Hey, Minami. Minami, look out! There's a homunculus behind you! Oh no, Minami! Arma! <laughs> Arma! Hi. Master. Oh my god, Alma. We miss you, Alma. We miss light mode, Alma. Dark mode, Alma is too dark. Oh, it's just like the production committee giving up on this anime. They went on my shit list the moment they decided my squad's lives weren't important. Watch your language, ma'am. <laughs> shit list? I think I'd hear that. Hey, look at that! Look at that! They were able to properly compose her walking without having to show her legs. What the fuck happened in episode six? Why didn't this? They didn't just have this. They, I, they can totally do it. What happened? Yeah, let's get Alma back. Turn her. Turn her on. It's not impressive. It's 2D. That's lame. Bro! Oh my gosh. That zoom out though. Whoa! 
me. Oh my god, did you see her eyes? Oh wow! Wow! They moved so subtly! I can't even do that with my eyes. Whoa! Whoa! Why did I I knew there was gonna be a zoom? But I still can't get over how stupid that was. They didn't even zoom out. There was no zoom out. It just zoomed in. Look at this. Look at this. It's We're going up to his nostrils, baby! So this is the inside of that man's nostrils. It's just two girls fighting. Who has the best face in this situation? Minami or Alma? Who has the best resting bitch face? I think Alma has the best one, but Minami's Minami's catching up. No, you're loyal to Minami. You're partners. Oh, now she's sad. <laughs> but she's still smiling. <laughs> Can I just ask for a simple cut? Is that so hard to ask? Like, a simple cut. <laughs> like, why does this editor feel the need to, like, put a zoom in? Maybe it's not even the editor. Maybe the editor was like, Sir, director, sir, um, it's... A bit ridiculous how we keep doing these zoom transitions, and now we're going full on zoom, and we're not even zooming out. <laughs> it's a half zoom, <laughs> dude. Does this even count as a zoom transition if there's not the other half? If the other half doesn't show up, <laughs> it's not even a transition. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. He just shot her elbows. Oh no. Don't shoot her face. What the fuck happened? Dude, dude. I know I'm like harping on the zooms, but that was three zooms in the in like the last 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Three zoom transition. Not even three zooms. They're not even transitions at this point. They're just zooms. It's like they've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> Why do we feel the need to add zooms to keep the energy up? There is no energy. What? Wait, actually, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, why did you develop that? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Wait, why do you have your leg up like that? <laughs> You're not a model. Actually, you are a model, but that, you know what I mean. Is Alma gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna kill you. Oh! Wow, look at the rocks completely miss her. <laughs> oh no, Minami! Is she gonna die? Oh my god, look at the creases on her fucking thighs, bro. Yo, they put, they put a, they had to put a line on that texture. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god. She's pulling a Mikasa. <laughs> Moments ruined. <laughs> Moments fucking ruined. Of course, of course, of course they had to do that. Can we can we have a zoom counter today? This episode we're having a zoom counter. How many times are they gonna do the stupid zoom effect? Oh my god, almost suffered a blue screen. Blue screen of death is the worst kind of death for all computers. Well, give us the access code! Oh my no! Oh! Oh my god! Dang, you're so angry. Oh, flashback episode one and episode two. Episode three? We're gonna have flashback episode three? No? Aww. I mean, this is entertainment for me too, so I can relate to Beta. Jeez! Wow, that was all back. <laughs> I thought they were gonna do something crazy, but it was just all back. Nice nostrils, though. I'm surprised they even gave her nostrils, to be quite honest. Whoa! Where'd you come from? <laughs> what the? F what? Whoa! 
What? What the fuck? Oh, it's a hologram. Wait, what? Oh, it's like the ad. Wait, the advertising hologram was in 2D. Why is it 3D now? This makes no sense. Shoot him in the face. Dude, what made you like this? I could ask the same thing. Bad direction. Oh, that's probably why this anime sucks. The director was not angry enough. He was too calm. He should have been more angry. I know this man has taken a lot from you, Minami. Mean, you gonna fucking shoot him in the face? Despair? Ah, <gasps> oh, look at the smile! Yeah! Good memories, man. Look, you used to be 2D too. What happened, bro? You turned to 3D because of anger. That's what happened. You advanced in technology because you were anger. Now you're 3D. Oh my god, that's amazing. This show is so smart. <laughs> Tag on Titan who? Tag on Titan doesn't do Cycle of Revenge as good as this show. I'll tell you one thing. Meanwhile. Oh! Wait a minute, did Al Jard sacrifice himself? <gasps> no way! Oh my god, look at the blood! <laughs> oh no! Jardo! Go with your 2D family! Mon Alma! Light mode Alma! Light mode Alma! Wow! Look at the art, bro! This guy looks so cool! His death scene would have been way cooler if he looked like this! Oh, what? Oh my god! He shot his clothes off! Holy shit! The man's clothes got shot off! That literally fan service beam. Wait a minute, let's look at that real Can we do that in slow motion see what they did? I will surely... Light beam, clothes are just gone and he just... <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Man, you suck, Sama. <laughs> he's an XR? Oh my god, he's about to get consumed? Wait, was he in 2D? He was the mystery masked man! What? Be gone, son! You gonna kiss? Better kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, I thought she was gonna go for the kiss. What are you actually thinking of? Yeah, because Alma is a human being. No matter what she is. Bro, all this time they're wasting, they're gonna get shot by the fucking Metal Gear and they're gonna lose their clothes too. Oh wait, that's a great frame I just paused on Minami. <laughs> yeah, fuck your brother. Kill him. Hey, actually, look at his eyes now that he's been now that he's been revealed. He actually looks like a normal human being instead of like I don't know what the hell to describe him when we first saw his eyes open. <laughs> what are you, Aaron Jaeger? Shut the fuck up! I bet you this is gonna have the same ending as Attack on Titan. <laughs> Whoa! Gig, Gig has the you have the reaction time of a fucking sloth. <laughs> You could have died. We're almost close to having a walk cycle showing legs, but we have a walk cycle showing ass. Almost there. Not really, uh, not really that crazy. I mean, what kind of idiot decides to just make every weapon distinct? <laughs> it's, it makes sense that there'd be copy and paste of weapons. Cause that's how weapons work. Ew, what the fudge? <laughs> Oh god, C calm the fuck down, sir. I don't need that face in my life. She's gonna have to sacrifice herself? Dude, I swear, they keep trying to show off her ass, but there's no ass. Like, what is this? What is this? This is nothing. Bro, Hank Hill has a bigger ass than you. What, what the fuck are you, what? I actually have forgotten all about you. I don't know who the fuck you are. All right. 
Oh my god, he's going to these fucking Apex bros. Where are we driving, boys? Yeah, boy. This character development. Akira's got fucking friends, man. Bro. Oh, hey, look. Look, did you see that? It was an actual zoom transition. Finally. Yes, Fan service? Hell yeah. We're gonna get a battle rail win right here, boys. What? Come on. This fight is still going? I'm an android just like him. So she identifies as an android, okay. That's crazy. That was episode 9. You thought I forgot, but I didn't forget. You gotta do bingo. The character's looking off to the distance. Uh, yeah, that, that's definitely looking off to the distance. I don't know what she's looking at, because she's looking at the screen. Uh-huh. Doing ghosting effect. I did see a bunch of ghosting effects. Akira X Minami moment. Actually, there was a Akira X Minami moment somewhere. Please put an end to this hopeless scenario. Uh, you know what, that kind of, does that actually count? Well, I know there's stock footage and stock elements, that's for sure. And there was 2D, 3D, and there's definitely smoke, and there's... I didn't actually see their legs. We did these, we saw the default face. Uh, lipstick on cat girls. They sent her to kiss. Which sense of holy light censorship. Uh... Zoom. PowerPoint transition. There was a lot of zooming to hide animation. I'm just gonna put that. Uh, flashback the first episode, and we got bingo. There we go. And if you don't believe any of that, we still have 2D flashback of a 3D character. Because we saw Minami's flashback, so we Gucci, fam. We got bingo. Let's go. Finally. It doesn't matter now. Because it wasn't the bingo episode that I got bingo. But it's it's a victory, I guess. It's like winning the midterms. No one really cares about midterms. You're not the president. Who gives a fuck? Uh, that was X-Arms episode 9. Not a sass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like. Please leave a comment on your hopes and dreams about X-Arms. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. ください